sports is a tricky one when it comes to trying to recommend it to an anime fan simply off the fact that, well, I find a lot of anime watchers don't really watch sports. And even for the ones that do, the translation of organized sports into an animated story isn't really gripping to most people. I want to say that I'm speaking for myself because sports anime was certainly an acquired taste for me, but talking to many, I discovered this to be one hell of a popular opinion. The solid sports anime out there usually are received better when formatted based off an already well-respected genre such as a shonen battle anime like we saw with shows like Ice Shield 21, Air Gear or Kuroko no Basket, or even romance with the most popular and quality one arguably being Suzuka. That to the side, I had a theory that a lot more people would be more open to at least giving a sports anime a fair shot if they started off with something shorter that's a small enough investment that they can one, force themselves to just complete it even if they don't enjoy it, and two, not have the risk of turning themselves off mentally pre-watching a show they might actually end up enjoying, off the fact that it's an intimidating 26 to 50 or even longer episode show. So today I'll be highlighting a small little basketball OVA I discovered by the name of Isle, and since that's the most awkward name I've ever heard of in my life, I'll call it by its alternate name, CKBC, which is short for Crazy Kozu Basketball Club. I've known about this one for a few years, ignoring the DVD on Amazon because it was advertised as just Volume 1, which had me believe that it was one of those anime that got a one volume release with three episodes for a 20 something episode show before prematurely being cancelled. I finally looked into it and found out that CKBC is actually a two episode OVA that only spans an hour long. And since basketball happens to be my favorite sport, it was a no-brainer adding it to my cart. Now, this was clearly just a commercial for a 14-volume manga from 95 that was produced by a studio called MSC. Honestly, I don't know what to think of this. On the strong side, it had a pretty fluid choreography in terms of actual ball and stayed true and realistic to how a basketball game in an actual gymnasium would play out. Although the character designs were literally generic to its year of 2002, the animation was fairly solid and I thought it had enough detail and coloring and was aesthetically pleasing. If you know what I mean when I say an anime's art and animation can touch you emotionally, comment down below. But anyways, the story opted out to be more of a drama than an actual sports story for the most part. Which is funny because it turned me off because I came into this looking for a quick competitive school basketball tale which in ways it was, but ended up just being this soul-searching message about why do I do what I do? Ironically, this may serve as a turn on to a lot of people that are sports anime skeptics who value more psychological or drama-oriented elements in their stories. It's probably very disrespectful for me to compare something like this to Kuroko no Basket, but if you've seen that anime, that one showed more emphasis on the teamwork and the skill and even utilized things like auras and whatnot to lure a lot of the shonen fans in. In CKBC, the first episode and halfway into the second episode was mainly drama between characters, flashbacks and a conflict between brothers which led up to the final match to close the show off. This is a major problem because all this drama circulates only one or two of the characters and leave the other abundance of side characters totally useless to the story and makes this difficult to follow. By the time you get to the final match, which I didn't even think was all that bad, you're kinda already over it. It seems the writers tried to get over the hurdle of having too much manga material and too little room to adapt, and ended up with a squashed mess of a plot, so I'm torn on deciding if there was even a point to them doing this anime. If it wasn't for the production value, I'd say this anime gets a little too much credit by being called an OVA, cause clearly it's a pilot episode for a drop TV series. I didn't mean to go too deep with this one, but I thought that this was a lost show to be tossed out there to see if anybody would be interested. Again, seeing that it's only an hour long and I thought I knew every basketball anime created, I felt like this was worth a shot and although it's not the best thing in the world to me, it deserves me trying to preserve and keep its awareness alive cause some of you may actually enjoy it. The manga is set to flesh out the story even deeper and have way more intensity in terms of the matches, so even if the OVA doesn't grip you, a lot of you manga readers out there might get something out of this. Like the video? Comment down below what y'all wanna see next. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Anime back when.